Hello and what is up everybody? Cliff B here once again playing some more modded Minecraft Path to Godhood episode. Well, technically this is a little bit weird because on Steam this would be, I mean on YouTube this would be episode 3, but on Twitch this is part 5 because there was a period of time where I couldn't record anything because one of my, um, well basically I had a scratch disc failure. Okay. Stream looks like it's going to the Matrix for some reason. But ignoring that time, um, I had a scratch this failure so I couldn't record episodes. In between episodes, um, yeah, so I made this setup, which was pointless. So I made a magma crucible and a fluid transponder to make blazing pyrotium. Because I thought I was going to put blazing pyrotium underneath the crucibles here. And that would make them, like, you know, work much faster because they're an extremely hot liquid that is blazing pyrotium. But unfortunately, I think it's because I put it down, but I left the lava next to it. So the lava flowed into the blazing pyrotium and overridden the blazing pyrotium. And that shit's expensive because it costs, like, blaze powder, it costs sulfur, it costs redstone. Point being, it's not easy to get your hands on blazing pyrotiums outside of like mystical agriculture. So that didn't go too well, and I had to have like a fight with like, you know, everybody in the damn nether for that shit. Only to get denied. So this is pointless. But also during the meantime, so I did went ahead, put some um, power cables down. So now there's power cables going all the way from there to. Da, 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 da. And here, so I have this controller here. I have one disk drive here. I need to make more disk drive as well as a crafting grid. So that way I can start destroying all my shit into the ME system and call it a day. So this is about to become like a server room. I mean a server room. And I kind of regret putting this here because I kind of want to put it there. Have the cable come out of it and just have like rolls. And I mean absolute like rolls of this back and forth. And it's like... I could move it, it's not going to be that hard to move it, I'm just lazy about it, but we'll see, we'll see. AK will do it now because I just thought of it and it sounded like a good idea. And if it sounds like a good idea, it probably is a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Oops, shit. Um, I'll keep Zoomy Boy right now. Okay, and... I have to be careful because I can instantly destroy pretty much any and all blocks almost immediately. You know, I'm kind of getting there in terms of the power, well, block destruction at least. Let's see, and come here, come here. Hmm? There shouldn't be anything above my head. There we go. And now if I take the controller is it? Oh, thank you for, um, thank you, Flock the Birds, for committing, um, committing. Thank you, Flock the Bird and Mad1316 um, for contributing points towards the community goal, as well as Mad1316 for hosting. The host does help out tremendously. It gets my content into the eyes of more viewers, potentially helps out with the algorithms to make sure I end up more like, well, I'm more likely to end up in the recommendation tab. So anytime you can host, please host. Yeah, I think I like that approach better. So I have the controller there. Above it, I'll put the crafting kit. And then for the disk drive, I'm going to use this area here to put the disk drive and have it like a server stack. Yeah, I like that idea better. So... The disk drive here. And that way, if I can... Uh, need to extend it towards the door, I can extend it towards the door. That is nice and all. As for the cables, oh right, uh, let me put this dry back in here. But yeah, so that's the start of the computer, the ME system. Now the only problem with that is it's a bit, uh, thank you for lurking, Flock the Bird. The only problem with that is that this is going to be an expensive system. Alright, um, so I need to make the crafting grid. 
not a storage monitor or a crafting monitor that just shows me what I have in my system those are for fluids that's a regular grid I need the crafting grid so the crafting grid requires a regular grid this and a crafting table and a regular grid requires all this shit how do I make some of this shit this is gonna cost materials so let me go ahead and grab some Gold out of here, some iron out of here. Do I have quartz and rich iron? Uh, 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 um, I think I have quartz and rich iron. I'm gonna need the silicon out of here. And that should be enough. So let me go ahead and make a regular grid. All right, so I need two of these things. One, two, and then I don't like the fact that I'm going through my diamonds. I need a destruction, which is just a basic grid, which is this, which requires that. I knew I was gonna need iron. I uh, knew it. That's making glass because glass comes in handy for this shit. Come on, smelt faster. I mean, I literally have the... Oh, the other thing I can smelt. Way faster than this thing, that's for sure. All right. So now I have that. I'll make one of these. Boom, I now have a destruction grid. So construction, destruction, oh, these are cores. Construction, destruction, and improved processing. Ports and rich, I have one of you. Oh, it needs another basic and glowstone dust. Oh shit, do I have glowstone dust? Cause I think I don't have glowstone dust. I think I did not pick up any glowstone dust. Cause if I did, it would probably be in this fucking chest. If this is not here, I don't have it, and I would have to go back to another. Great. Another trip to the nether. Also, in terms of the power so, um, situation, so basically I just made another magnetic dynamo, upgraded to ref uh, reinforce, and it seems to be producing power, so hopefully that's enough for the computer, but I probably should be looking at big reactors, or I think it's called extreme reactors now and get that on the go. But also a farm, because I'm actually slowly running out of food here. You know? But first, the computer. Not getting side so distracted with anything else, you know? Alright, so we're going into the nether. I'm going straight for that glowstone. If I happen to kill a few blazes, a few blazes will have to die, that's all. Well, that pig wasted his life. Oh, crap. Alright, let's go. This is one thing I don't like heading into the nether because anti-aliasing. Oh boy, these low-res texture packs. And I couldn't find a texture pack that works with a bit of everything. It just seems to not have one. At all. So that's great and all. What is this, cold iron? I know it's prosperity ore. Alright, so I got that. Um, should I try for the... Oh, shit, no space for the thing. Oh, I this. Slime, fuck off. I have no clue what this gas is at, though. I mean, it's making noise and it's talking that good shit, but it sure as hell won't back it up, that's for sure. 
catch me in O2. Oh, there's a the damn gas. How the hell am I hearing you when you're way down there? Alright, uh, let's see if I can just kick a few blazes ass. Any luck? Also, my own fire. Also, my inventory is full, so even if they dropped the blaze rod, I wouldn't be able to pick it up. Yay for full inventories of absolute shit. I have so much garbage in my inventory. Oh boy. I wonder if it dropped anything and I completely missed it because I was on fire at the time. Are you fucking with me? Stop that! That hurts. Okay, actually, I think that's a blaze rod right there. Oh my gosh. And my inventory's full. And something just withered me. And I'm on fire! Ay, ay, ay. I hit the nether. Oh shit, I might die. Oh shit, I didn't die. Well, uh, let's hide up here for a little bit. Let's heal and get some health back. Oh my gosh, why did I come to the nether with so much in my inventory? Okay, I don't really need that. Alright. I can put that there. I have a bow. There, I can put this in my offhand just to clear out a slot. Okay, the wither is being chased by a hellhound. I find that hilariously and sad at the same time. There we go. Uh, shit. What do you drop? XP. Don't care about the XP. Alright, um, not down there. Is he wearing cobalt armor? I think he's wearing like a full suit of cobalt armor. What? 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 You thought the- Oh shit! Get wrecked me! Oh shit, I might die. Five seconds. Oh shit, I didn't die. Yep, pretty much. Story of my life. Hey, dying while you're flying in the air would be very bad. You know, that would be very bad. Alright, fuck this hellscape. I got what I need. I came in, I conquered, now let's get the hell out of Dodge and let's make a damn computer. Both in real life and Minecraft, computers are incredibly useful. And any time in the game you want to load, that would be nice. Any time, can I escape the bounds of the nether portal? Thank you. Alright, so let's make that thingamajig. Uh, what the fuck can I do with you? Blaze and magma cube drops. I can use you to make an addiction torches. Rep uh, repels creatures and projectile. Infernal claw. What does this do? Crafting ingredient. Awesome. Blaze charm fragments. Awesome. A salamander's eye. Dispels blazes fireballs and repels gases. Okay, but that also requires a lot of shit that I don't have, so fuck that shit. And the surgeon of staff consumes torches but place them at long distances. Learn to place torches in unlit areas automatically. Shift right click to activate. Okay, so if I'm exploring, I'll just place a torch wherever I need it to be. Other than that, these all sound kind of like shit. You know. Just a wee bit, tad bit shitty there, mates. Ah, Curse of Vanishing. I love that, you know. Love to have some Curse of Vanishing. Anyway, a grid. You require that, which I can make. Oh, my inventory is like a fucking mess. Don't look into the mess that is my inventory. Okay, good. 
All right, so, oh, shit. There's no point taking the grid. I need to make a crafting grid. All right, so what does it take to make a crafting grid so I can actually craft? So I need to make another one of these. Fucking darn it. This is slowly just going to all my diamonds. These diamonds were not cheap, mate. They were hell on earth to find. Alright, so I need one of that and then a crafting bench. My word. Are there actual diamonds in actual computers? I feel like I should know that. Also, thank you, Matt, for sticking around rather than just lurking. Like, I have said it before, but actual chatting does help out tremendously because what it does is it keeps, um... Well, it keeps your viewership active in the first place. It also helps entice people who might not show up otherwise. Be like, ah, oh, I see other people talking. I guess I will join them. And I'm not liking this location. You know, eventually, I will put stuff in my computer. It would be awesome. So we're going to do it like that instead. Put that drive in there. And now I can start emptying my shit into this system here. Uh, I'm going to want more disk drives and more disks. That would help, but as of right now... Start this process up with this. Boom, boom, just dump it in, just dump it in. I don't care. Oh my gosh, the glorious dump. The glorious dump. Hashtag glorious dump. Oh my gosh, that felt therapeutic right there. And, oh shit, that drive is almost full. <laughs> Not generally though, they have the opportunity to potentially be useful. Diamonds do have some abilities that make them potentially useful, but they get too hot, which is which is what led to carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes! I thought diamonds can be used as a cooling component, or was I just dead wrong? Huh? Oh. Right, I put all my silicon over there. Wait, why am I using this? Oh my gosh, this is not needed anymore. Guys, this isn't needed anymore. Oh my gosh. I can just put it all in the computer! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Watch this shit, watch this. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, glorious dump. Oh, it's a glorious dump. Oh, look at this glorious dump. Oh my gosh. And, oh fuck. I'm filling up the hard drive already. Hex. Oh shit. So... Do I at least put in the stuff that it needs in there? Because filling up that drive, driving could potentially be used for cooling component, but the best so far is carbon nanotubes, which can augment copper to be more transferred. Alright, um... Okay, it is... Yep, it is full. It's not accepting anymore. It's like, yeah done, mate. Yeah, cabbage. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. As long as I put enough stuff in here that I can... I made five of these. It's fine. Oh, shit. Wait, what? No. I have more of these. Oh, I can only make them one at a time, and they all cost quartz and rich stuff. Boom, 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 and boom. Oh, yes. This is glorious. This is why you want a computer in-game. All that stuff, I can just throw it in here. Uh, what is it? Search box, normal, J-I, sent J-I, there we go. Look at that. Now I do actually need to make bigger drives. Oh, so not only can the computer handle storage, it can also handle crafting, and it can also do things like auto-crafting. So if you know you're always making certain things, I can upgrade this computer system to just make that shit for me. There's also a wireless terminal that I should work on that makes it so I can access my inventory, basically whatever's in my, my computer, 
wherever I am in the world. So this gets better. Okay, right now, this is that basic bitch shit. But this can get so much better once I add, like, Wi-Fi to this shit. Because right now, you know, I got, like, my crafting monitor space. I got a keyboard mouse and a monitor over here. I got, like, my main tower right here. This is just my um, NAS over here, which is slowly filling up. So that's great and all. But point thing is, like, it gets better, okay? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and basically shove all this shit into the computer. Just shove it all in there, mate. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Now, one thing I have to worry about. This system does run on power, so if I run out of power, all my stuff is locked until I get power again. So how badly am I hitting the grid? I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it with some type of force, but not as bad as it could be. Oh, uh, you! Oh, oh, it's so fucking therapeutic. Oh shit! I think some shit might fall down there. Whoops! Whoops! But it doesn't matter. It's so fucking therapeutic. And the great thing about it is, like, all these damn tools, when they're in the computer, if they're made out of the same materials, it doesn't matter what their durability is. The computer will stack them as one object. Regardless of durability. Oh, man. So good. How am I doing on storage? So I'm slowly filling them up. I can even tell, like, eventually there's upgrades where I can tell the computer to, like, if it's get certain stuff, it can automatically delete some stuff or only keep a certain amount of certain things. Like, for instance, cobblestone, you know... If it gets to a certain point, I want, like, um, any cobblestone that I put in the computer to just automatically be filtered out. Either made into lava, or, like, you know, just thrown into lava. So, this is called a bit of everything. It's a mega mod pack that has 290 plus mods. And while I'm going down the technical mods, there are magical mods in this as well. And I'm barely into it. Like right now, I'm just doing the basic shit, okay? I've made a power grid because most of the technical mods, if not all of them, requires power of some form. Even the magical mods can use this stuff. And this is called um, RF or Redstone Flux. It's kind of basically super universal at this point here. But there's a shit ton of mods in here. Oh god! Oh, look at that explosion. But yeah, so that station over there, like, I'm using Mechanism. Uh, mechanism really deals with ores. And it helps with, like, ore doubling. Actually, no, if you really go into Mechanism, you can do five time ore magnification. I mean, five time ore processing. Where you can take one ore. They get like five ingots out of it, but I'm not going too deep into the tree for that. So I haven't gotten to that point yet. Like I said, I'm super early in the pack. You know, I have things like my jetpack so I can fly around. I have this set up here that's turning cobblestone into lava. That lava is being put into two different engines to make energy here. I have this that like I can take cobblestone. Like for instance, I could take some of the spare cobblestone in here, which I have to put more cobblestone in. I could put it in here. That'll crush it up into gravel. That gravel gets sieved by mini Steve here. And I have chance to get like more ores or diamonds and emeralds. Like there's many different routes because this is a choose your own adventure pack and already filling up some of the dries. Okay, so I might have to look into better drive storage so let me go ahead pick that up oh shit oh fuck i shouldn't have picked up that chest uh, i'm gonna put that there for now <laughs> whoops and it um it's on the at launcher so if you want to get into it you have to look for at launcher and fuck they fucked up so that was my ore chest which is connected automatically to my um furnace 
so that's basically where everything goes after I smelt them. And I kind of just destroyed it. Oh, can I not just cook you? No, you don't cook. Okay, you, you are probably an ingredient. You know what? Uh, I kind of need to pick this shit up. I actually do need to take this system out altogether, actually. Because it's not needed anymore. Oh, yeah. I got the computer. So none of this shit is needed anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some more drives because... Well, it's showing me in real time that I'm 68% full. Priorities, that's just how many stuff. This controls like the layout and whatnot. More upgrades. I know, I just got the damn thing. It cost me like diamonds and shit, and I already have to upgrade it for fuck's sake. It's fine, it's fine. I should probably be looking at some 4K storage option, which requires 1K storage option, which is great and all. Hey, how many of this? I'm out of silicon. Diamonds are a cliff best friend. Well, if I can find them, like for instance, Matt, since you're here and all, let me show you what underground looks like. And you'll understand why I'm pissed when things use my diamonds. So, let me not do that. Hold on, I just realized my jetpack is low on energy. Last thing I want to do is go into a cave system and have a low power jetpack. So this is a charge pad. It allows me to charge up my jetpack here by just standing here. Well, actually, it will charge up anything that requires energy. But in this case here, that's my jetpack. Now, it's a little bit strange that a jetpack that's shooting out flames require electrical power, but... I mean, if I want to be realistic, there's another form of a jetpack that um, uses gas, like actual flammable gas. It uses hydrogen to have you fly. Only problem is a bit of a bald egg, not gonna lie. So this is what the underground looks like. So there are more than 30 different types of ores in this game, and some of them are so like universal to modern Minecraft that they have 15 different variations of them. So it goes without saying, there's a shit ton of ores. So the underground is quite rainbow colored. Not to mention you have things like um, crystals, flowers, mushrooms, shit that can grow down here, quartz. You know, you have things like salt here for food. Um, that's an automatic illuminator it's supposed to light up these places, but yeah, this is what the other ground looks like. Um, if you're wondering why there's a tree here, I don't know. I think something went wrong. Also, if you're wondering why it looks like so openness and cavernous, this is um, a mod called Better Terrain. I mean, Better Caves, or Improved Caves Generation. So basically, it's 1.17 before 1.17, because this is 1.12. So, haha, get wrecked, mate. Okay. But yeah, so this is a thing where I don't like where I use up all my diamonds because there's so many fucking ores that diamonds themselves are being overridden and they're now actually rarer in modded Minecraft thanks to there being just so many variations. So it's like. Mm -hmm. Things that require diamonds just hurt like a different type of way. Because, you know, everything has their own, like, um, level of, um, everything has their own weight about how they spawn in. But it's like, diamonds is like, hmm. Bit harsh, bit harsh. Alright. So I have a tad wee bit of a tiny little bit of a problem here. And that is, this system goes all the way over there, but that doesn't need to anymore. I can rip that up, and I actually need it to head over here where my computer's at, so all my stuff automatically goes into my computer. But for right now, it's like, um, I don't even know, like, do I just put a chest there, or what, or... Nah, nah, I'll rip that out. Hold on, I'll put a torch in here for safety reason, but I'm gonna rip that out. There's a lot of shit going on the ground that I need to, like, rip out. So, you... Side configuration, and you no longer shoot shit out at the bottom. 
nighttime. Oh shit. So there's something called Abyssal Craft, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna remove or not. But it adds in like basically it helps the anti with all the mobs and gives them chances to have like random effects on them. So it's just like random potion effects or anything. You can boost things like agility, speed, get them double jump, make them attack harder, harder, stronger, fly sometimes, poisonous, all this type of shit. Which I think probably needs to go to an early grave. Yeah, I kind of want to move these over here because this is this is ugly. I mean, I know we're near the point where I can start like you know. Shit, nope, that's not what I meant to click. Or I can worry about aesthetics, but I'm gonna worry about aesthetics for a bit. And put you there. Fortune is crying. Okay, good. Harder, better, faster, stronger. I need you to hurry up right now, because I can't wait much longer. You know it. Alright, but yeah, as you can see, this shit's already filling up, which is great. Which is real great. Alright, so where are my damn quartz? Quartz. Oh, they're good. I'm running out of quartz. I hate going to the nether for this shit. Alright, I have the computer up and running. So this is crushing up my quartz into dust, this is smelting that dust into silicon, which I need for certain shit. But I think it's time I got working on a digital miner. So what a digital miner will do is that a digital miner will go ahead and mine all the ores for me. So I need to make this shit here. So it can mine all the ores in the ground, like if I press shift, oh no, shift, M. A highly advanced filter-based auto miner that can mine whatever blocks you tell it within a 32 block radius max. So I want this shit because it's going to take care of all the mining for me. An energetic confuser. Oh, and a wire charger. Anyway. Now for it, uh, I have none of the damn components. So, either electronic or basic control circuit. I need these teleportation cores, which is, oh god. Oh my, oh, please no. It requires diamonds. It requires diamonds. Yeah, 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 diamonds. I get it. Oh my gosh, so. I need two of those teleportation cores, which requires. Oh my gosh, this is gonna cost so many diamonds! Uh, I can at least make the steel casing, you know, that's easy to make. An amount of steel now, great. Uh, yeah, yeah, logistical sorter. Do I not have a piston? Okay, I don't have cobblestone in this system. Right, because most of my cobblestone hangs out in my, um, thing over there. You know, I need cobblestones, I need diamonds, time to go mining. Until, like... I mean, luckily I won't have to mine much longer, you know? Once I get my digital miner up, this uh, mining stuff is going to be for birds, you hear me? The birds! Okay, and it's going to be able to just select any ore, and it's going to find anything that has ore in the name, and just mine that shit for me. Okay, so this rainbow cave is not going to be as much as a rainbow once my digital miner is done with it. Alright, but for now, I came down here with like no torches. Smart, smart. Absolutely smart, you know. Alright, let's go. Awesome, I found a place I was already in. Oh, by the way, this tool I'm using is called a hammer, which does a 3x3, three three, and I can actually upgrade this to do a 5x5. Five five. I'm just lazy about it. 
Come on. Where are the diamonds? Come on. Fuck off. Diamonds, where you at? Where you at? I know you're here. Come on. Don't hide from me. Do not hide from me, diamonds. Listen, you're making this worse by hiding, okay? You see all of these orbs that's being destroyed and left on the ground because you want to hide? No, just come out of hiding and show yourself. Fuck off. Miners will turn the rainbow caves into our gray spires. Oh, it's going to be a gray spires, okay? Wait until I get my um, digital miner up and running. And come on. Where's the diamonds? Where's the diamonds? Come on. Come on. Damn it. My intuition lied to me. It said there'd be diamonds here, but there's no diamonds. I don't see any diamonds. Okay. I mean, at like Y equals 12, it's just because, like I said, so many different types of ores, which makes diamonds more rare than they should be. Come on, all right, uh, mine through here. Diamonds, come on. What the fuck? Oh, you had a face hugger hat. Oh, right, the hat mud. Yeah, I forgot about that. And... There we go. So, I now have a face hugger on my face. So, the hat mod is completely, uh... Pointless. It's more for multiplayer, but hey. It's here, so why not? Although it was like another mod to look. <gasps> Diamonds! There we go! Now I'm not going to use my um, hammer, because my hammer doesn't have fortune on it, but my pickaxe does, so that's how I'm going to use the pickaxe. Oh, sweet! I'm filled with shit, so I can't pick up my diamonds. There we go. Diamonds. Diamonds. Alright, any more for any more diamonds? Come on, come on. Come on. Any more diamonds? Just... A couple more diamonds? A couple more diamonds? Ah, there we go. You see, yes, and you shall receive. Well, unfortunately, it was not that many. And I kind of made a bit of a mess here, but... Uh, not my concern, but I do want this one quartz here. Give me the quartz, thank you. Now then, I am out of torches, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to leave this cave like this. Yeah, it's like... Oh, no, that's gold. Uh, let me pick up the gold. Gold is actually useful for shit. From no diamonds to eight is not a bad hole. It can get much better. Once I actually get, like, proper mining t uh, once I get my digital miner. Uh, oh shit, that's uranium. Uh, am I going into nuclear craft? Oh no, this is industrial craft. Nah, industrial craft can go fuck itself. Way too overly complicated for what it gives you. Okay, fly. Uh, oh, I think that's a slime pearl that you can only get from killing slimes. It might be useful later. Night tire from Abyssal Craft. Fuck the Abyssal Craft. What is this? Dent Silver. Uh, what mod really loves silver? There's a mod that loves silver, but I just don't know what it is that really cares about silver. You know, I'll leave it be. I mean, hey, look, amethyst before 1.17. But anyway, I'll leave the silver B. Also, yeah, you can just randomly find, like, blocks of redstones in the world. That's lava. All right, uh, I think there's a quick way out, I think. Yep. Also, I have a really fun mod. So creepers don't explode and do damage. They explode into fireworks. Okay, going the wrong way. If it's unlit, it's a dead end. The only problem is... Uh, 
I lit up a lot of this underground and I don't know where to go. So I get lost like super easy. Actually, I think I know where I am. Yeah, I recognize these two gravels. Okay. Boom. I am here. Now, here may not matter for you, but it matters for me because here it tells me that there's my mine entrance. Shush. And away. Gotta love the jackpack mods. Now, there is something way, way better than the jetpack. But it's in one of the magical mods. It's called an angel ring that just gives you creative mode of flight. Which I am definitely going to want at some point. Alright, so... all this out here. Um, I have a slight problem. That drive is filling up and my computer does not accept um, process ores right now. So, hmm. Hungry skeleton fell from a high place. Okay. Um, so I think for now, even though it's going to look super ugly, or I could just make cables. I can literally just make cables. Let me make cables. I mean, it looks super ugly, but I don't give a damn. I want all the stuff that comes from my, um... At Refine Store. Here we go. Oh, by the way, this is called JAI, or Just Enough Items. It's an, um, curie system. Um, cu curing system. Not curing. Quarry system! There we fucking go, my gosh. So this helps you sort to all the, like, the various mods so you can look for whatever you're looking for. Is that all I can make? Am I really out of quartz? Okay, no, I made 64. Why'd I make 64? Importer, exporter, external storage, constructor, destructor, reader, writer... I'm gonna need cables and lots of them. Are you kidding me? I'm out of glass. No, no, no. I got glass. I got glass. I got shit ton of that stuff. There we go. Alright, I was a little bit worried I was out of glass there for a second, but I was like, no, no, no. Everything's still in pieces everywhere because my inventory is still a fucking mess of the highest order. Don't worry, that's all gonna be sorted. That's all gonna be sorted. I will have a better inventory. There we go, and... Two, 24 should be enough to make the journey, right? Also, I just love this. Inventory and crafting together as one system, yes! And I'm gonna need the importer. So I need one of these. Oh, sh shit. I'm out of string. Oh, fuck. Um, any strings? Any strings? Does anybody have any strings? Please tell me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm out of string. Um, is there wool in my system here? One bit of wool. Thank you, that one bit of wool. Because what I can do is go over here and... Uh, let me get this out, put the wool in, and then... There we go. String in one chest. Sound like time to get more. Oh, it definitely is. Although, I don't know what chest had string in them. Right now, I'm just not going to worry about it. Oh, there was a string in one chest, but yeah. Really sucks. See, this is why I need more, like, um, storage, because if it's all in my ME system, which is, by the way, what is this computer system called, 
I wouldn't have to worry about this shit. I would just have it all in one centralized system. I'm just making eight of these, putting those in there. And now I'm gonna need the importer. Oh, I made one of those. So importer puts items into the computer. So I need a destruction core, which just needs that shit. So I put that in there. Oh, fuck, I have to bake that shit. Um, I need that basic processor pack. Might have fucked up. Also, I'm gonna remove the uh, JI synchronization because that's actually making it run slower. Alright. So you. Good. So this is why I need to hook up my computer to this. So when I throw shit in here, it's automatically done. And I'm also gonna need like an exporter so I can have ores automatically going in here. Like, I have ores automatically going in there to get pulverized. They go into there, and then the importer pulls that out. Alright, so throw that shit in there. Into the abyss it goes. And, yeah. Refined storage. By the way, if you like this mod, this is called refined storage. There's another version of this called Applied Energetic, but it is way, way more confusing, but you can do more with it. Refined storage is more simpler. That's why I went with it. Why did I run out here? Chat, why did you stop me from running out here? I was supposed to make an importer. I literally had everything I need to make the importer. Boom, importer, done. And now an exporter. Oh, not another fucking diamond! Uh, of course, it's gonna cost a diamond to make the exporter. Oh, wait, no, no diamonds. No diamonds this time, just a glowstone. Alright, so that can go in there. I need charging. How badly am I hitting the grid here? And as for the grid. Ooh, not bad, not bad. It looks like I'm breaking even on my power uses here. Which is good. If I can break even on power uses, I'm fine with that. Alright. Now, as I recall, there's a wrench to go with this mod here, so that can go in there. There we go. That's done, and there we go. Exporter. Boom. And now I could have sworn there's a wrench. There we go, the refined storage wrench, which requires a basic processor. Why wouldn't it require a basic processor? See, this is why I need the autocrafter, because if I don't have something, I can tell the computer, craft this shit for me. Then when it's done crafting the shit for me, it'll just make whatever I tell it to make. And it can go layers deep, so even if something requires, like, multiple process, like, the wrench here, which requires, like, that basic processor, requires the thing to be smelted to generally, like, putting in a recipe, it can do all of that. Walking around more snagly what you want. Exactly, but that's... I am, like, super far away from that. Like, I'm still in the basic pitch stages of this shit. Like, once I get into autocrafting, oh, it's gonna be a whole nother game. Alright, so I want the importer here. Alright, the wrench can just wrench this around, right? Nope. There we go. Importer there. This system can go. Like, look at this heat. Look at this barbaric. I mean, can you believe that at one point I had, like, chests that I was using? Oh, it's so barbaric. And I was using an item transport pipe? Oh, absolutely barbaric. Like, what is that doing in this world? Like, mm -mm -mm. That's just sad right there. Alright, so the exporter will put stuff in there. Importer will um, take stuff from here. I know it sounds backwards. It sounds like the exporter should be taken out, but no. Nope. The exporter exports stuff from the computer. Importer inputs stuff. Upgrading to three seashells. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know it. And now, 
Um, I don't think I can go underground here. Because I believe all my wiring goes underground here. So... Fuck. Just got to have a few exposed cables. But, uh, let me go ahead and connect these two things. Also, another great thing about the cable situation is that... Cables transfer items instantaneously. Okay. There we go. Alright, I won't be able to access the front of this um, pulverizer, but that's fine. I don't need to. But let's go ahead and get this all on the ground, you know? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have it go this way. So I'm going to have it go this way. And I think the controller... Where's the controller? Because really, I think the controller is somewhere around here. I think it's right here. What is that? That's the crafting grid. Um, hmm. I mean, technically, as long as it's connected, I think all cables are supposed to go to the controller. Um, I put the controller here. So let me go ahead and punch this block out. So when I come back during the day, I know where that's at. And then I can just have all my stuff, like, be automatically moved to the, um, pulverizer to get crushed into dust. Then from the pulverizer, it goes into the furnace to be smelted. And then I could throw my ores all in the computer here and have them all doubled by the computer. So that's why I'm dealing with this right here. This is for the sake of being lazy, damn it. And everybody knows laziness is the mother of all inventions. Oh fuck, what the hell? Oh Howdy. Thank you for subscribing for a three month cyberwolves. Pog. You know what, Cyberwolf, just for you, I will find a wolf in the wild, tame it, and name it Cyberwolf. Not lazy, efficient, exactly. You understand where I'm coming from here. Alright. Ah, shit, I can't bury it here. Power cables are here. Fuck! This is where one of those announcements come in, like, know what is in the ground before you dig. Uh, actually, I need to bury that a little bit further into the ground. Alright, uh, where's my damn shovel? You know, I can use my hammer, because my hammer has unnatural on it. So even though it's not made for, uh, dirt, it will still buy it like a shovel. Love my fucking hammer. See, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Same officially as a diamond shovel, by the way. Alright. Just wanted to pop in and leave a lurk, but that subversary was waiting for me. Are you saying it's hammer time? It's always hammer time. Da, da. No, I can't even do it. I forgot hammer time. Stop. Hammer time. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, fucking hell. It's been too long since the last time I heard hammer time to do a good, like, hammer time. Uh, I gotta clean up all this shit here. Should I take out the old cables, or should I be a lazy ass fuck? Alright, server. I'll catch you when you're streaming. Ah, oh, it's gonna be annoying, but let me take out the old cables because they're still gonna be useful. And there's no point leaving them in the ground. I'm not an ISP. I shouldn't do that. Although what's funny is that like um on multiplayer you can definitely become like an ISP in this game and provide people with things like power inventory and all this type of stuff. Uh, oh shit, I took out my door. Oh, right, I was using my <laughs> hammer to dig the dirt because I don't have a regular shovel for the dirt. <gasps> oh, 
Whoops. <laughs> okay, I slightly fucked up. I am slightly fucked up. <laughs> when you smash a little bit too hard. Alright, I'm gonna put the ores in here for now. Keep only what I need on my person. And let me fix this mess I mess made. Oh, man. Oh, right, yeah, I was using this, so whenever I use this, I can automatically put, this isn't useful anymore, because I don't use it for ore doubling anymore, just for tools. Ah, Tinker's Construct. You was good while you lasted, but the moment you get, like, what, um, any of the tools that you need, like, there's no real point in messing with Tinker's anymore. Well, you're still gonna mess with it for, like, tools and whatnot, but, you know. Okay, uh, let me remember. Let's not break the cables with it, because the cables count as... Well, they don't count as stone, but they count as something you can mine with a pickaxe, and the, the hammer goes crazy on it. So I'm just going to use my regular pickaxe. Makes sense. There's a limit to tinkering. <laughs> Mad's ready with them. I mean, like, there's, like, all the combinations, like, everything that you should make with Tinkers is pretty much well known. Alright, so this is all being teared out. I can actually raise this cable here. So I'm gonna cut off computer, I mean, power to my computer. So all my shit is in limbo right now until I restore the power. But the reason why I'm gonna do that is because, one, I wanna go ahead and put that there, because that's not needed. Actually, since I'm taking out all these cables here, I can put the importer and the exporters underneath this whole entire thing. Yeah, 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 it's a... Just like... <laughs> How dare you, mad? <laughs> How dare you? Alright, fine. Like, I will admit, okay, I just shut down power to the computer, alright? So now the computer's not up anymore, but it's fine. Okay, it's just temporarily down while I make cooler, better shit. But yeah, what I can do is this. So now, um, change the configuration so you're no longer accepting from the top. You're accepting from the bottom, so change this to blue to tell it to accept my shit from the bottom, export to the right. Change the back till no, so that way it still continue to get power. All right, so I need my importer again and the exporter. Those two link up because they're right next to each other. Now I need to put the power cables back in. My computer is back online. There, okay, jeez Louise, your internet is back, people. Gosh, you overreacted just a tad bit, you know? Like, what's even that long? Gosh, these boomers these days can't survive like 10 minutes without their bloody internet. Oh my gosh. And the distant sirens. Yeah, brother. I mean, speaking of, like, a bad case to cut the uh, network. Did you hear about, like, that, um... So some hacker put, like, ransomware on, like, a, um, hospital's computer system, and so they couldn't treat a patient, so they tried to transport the patient, but the patient didn't make it because he was in an extremely unstable state, and so now they're charging the guy with involuntary manslaughter. I mean, that is a case where you do not want the internet to go out, and that's basically what happened there. I wonder if one can use that argument, you know, when they're arguing with their parents about, gosh, you can live without the internet. Did you hear about that person who died because they lost the internet? You can't live without it. It's like, that was an extreme case and you know it, boy. Yeah, but it happened. Alright, so now then, I can actually go ahead and close a few things up here. I need my cables. There we 
Yep. So now. Uh, Alright, I need to dig out this channel here. So since I'm no longer doing anything in front, I could go ahead and just put some stone here. And then put my bricks back. Doing all this work just to make it look pretty. It's like, ugh. And then I'm going to have to rip up the ground again for any future upgrades that I want to do to the system. Like, I'm going to have to rip up the ground again for when I want to tell these things about what they will and won't have in them. Alright, don't hit stone with the hammer and you'll be fine. Most, so many, um, so much developed countries have to uh, declare that in the world we now live in, internet access should be considered as a basic human right. You needed to get employed. Like, uh, yeah. Like, hard clap for Brazil to come up with a Bill of Right before America. And everybody was like, you oh, know, Brazil is just like a third world country. And it's like, they got a Bill of Right before the U.S. What's your excuse? Well, that's not fair. Also, I just realized I made this trench way too deep. Like, I don't have to bury these cables this deep here. Yeah, look at that. There's a whole block spacing here. Oh, shit. This is wasting cables. Meanwhile, in America, you know, we tried something, then we got rid of that shit real fucking quick. Just, like, real quick. Like, how fast was Joey Willer's, like, treatments removed? Ah, fuck. I have damn cables. Alright, my computer should be on. See? While I was down there mining, you didn't even notice the computer went out. Okay, cables, good. I need these cables. When you didn't bring enough cables for the jobs, and you're like, oh, sorry, I gotta schedule another appointment. I didn't have enough to completely run your route. Are you fucking with me? This is a bit of shit. Ah, fuck it. Sun's going down. I'm going to sleep. Ah, fuck. Can't go to sleep just yet. Alright, if I can't go to sleep, I'll make smart cables, damn it. There's none in the computer. Twelve should be fine. Put all that stuff back. I'll be back sometime in the next three days between noon and eight p.m. and I'll need uh, signature confirmation. Oh boy. Um, when I worked in the ISP, it wasn't noon and eight p.m. It was ten a.m. to eight p.m. <laughs> and you still needed somebody there the whole damn time. Alright, so before I actually activate this, I was making it up on the fly law. Oh, no, that's that's an actual thing. Oh, boy. Those were fun. That was, that was a fun... Those were... That was a fun call. Alright, so I wanted to export everything, but I had to tell the importer what to take. So for the exporter here, ignore types, uh, blacklist, damage, use NBT. The importer will take everything out. So that's fine. The exporter here, I'm going to need to add to the exporter to tell it to only export certain things into the computer. But no, that's actual an actual thing. And trust me, I've dealt with numerous escalations for that. Because I'd be a person who have to take escalation calls when they happen. So when you have to tell that customer that like, hey, if you want an appointment, the earliest one you, I got is in three to five days and it's a 12 hour window. If you don't take it, the next one I have for a two-hour window is seven days later. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, those were calls, okay? Those were calls, all right? All right, so lead ore, silver ore. Now, there's something I know I have to do to tell it to, like... If it's an ore, just to take it of any type of ore variety. I know how it goes with customer service. I cut my teeth working retail sales and repairs. Uh, yeah, I know, but that was a thing. Like, I'll tell you right now, I don't wish customer service is my worst enemy. 
That is some um, nightmare level fuel right there. That gets worse and worse. Alright, so I want it to copper, zinc, tin, lead, silver, gold, and use MBT. So hopefully by MBT types, fluids, um, it will take all my copper and not just specifically copper from Project Red Copper. Because that will piss me the fuck off right there. So let me put that away. So, oh boy, horse. Alright, so I have tin, I did gold, I did copper, I did silver, there's leaden system, cinnabar, iron, I should definitely put an iron there so it knows to take iron. Um, do I care about the uranium? I really don't care about the uranium, but I should just do it. I have the damn uranium now. What do you mean my drive died while you was working on it? You bought us a dying you bought us a dying machine and needed us to urgently save your data that you didn't back up and we're the bad guys for not performing magic. Ain't that the shit? I love the customers that don't do research. What do you mean it doesn't support my Logitech Harmony Remote? Well, let's see, it just came in the market a fucking day ago and your Logitech Harmony Remote doesn't work with every damn cable box. So why would you assume this one? But yeah, I love that discussion. Just when the customer does zero, absolutely no research whatsoever and they get pissed off at you because they was assuming. Like, number one key advice, don't assume shit. Never assume anything. Get confirmations. Actually speak to people. So this is doing its job. Okay, I see Project Red Copper going in. This should be smelted. Oh shit, it's not taking it out. We tried nothing and it didn't work. Uh, mode, blacklist, um, whitelist, ah, fuck, is there no auto extract? Is there no auto extract? Fuck, fuck, maybe an expert needs a separate cable run? Oh, no, everything in, um, RE can run off the exact same cable. Like, it's made to, like, I can plug them in anywhere. As long as they're connected to a controller in some way, shape, or form, they'll work. Ah, uh, fucking hell. That's a security card. That's a networking card. Filter, whitelist, fortune upgrade. Um, stacks. Crafting, speed, range. I mean, speed would be nice. Ah, uh, fuck! Ah, uh, shit. Is this just no blacklist? Like, I have to put in all the ores? Oh my gosh. That's gonna be hell on earth. Oh, yes. It is 100% of universal cables. So I have to tell it to remove the ores, or else it won't do it. It'll just stay locked up in the system. And what is range? Oh, I think that's for well stacks would we'll just do a whole stack at a time. Rather than one by one. So I might want to make a stacked upgrade. Which requires Oh Siva Okay. Fuck my life sideways. Oh my gosh. Alright. I need four of these. What did I run out of? Silicon. Okay. Alright, fine. 
It won't take out because it needs to know to take the shit out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let me switch it over to whitelist. Why won't you take out the damn... Hey, can you output out of your ass? Okay. There we go. So, that's out. Now I need to tell it, I also want you to take zinc out the system. I'll take zinc out the system. I want you to take gold out the system. I'll take gold out the system. You know, this is this initial setup, okay? Once this thing is fully running, like, I won't deal with this shit anymore, okay? This is this initial setup, that's all. That's all I fucking had silicon on me. Alright, it's stuck on something, what are you stuck on? Nothing. I mean, that's working, but... I do believe this is draining my network, though. How hard am I hitting it? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I'm breaking even. I'm breaking even still. Yes. Oh, God. Point of sale systems. All right. Um, I hate to interrupt. You're doing an amazing job here. You're doing a really amazing job here, but I need you to cut that for me. Thank you. Alright, shove that in there. The only problem is I need more than one of those. Uh, let me just make a few of these. One, two, three. Oh, fuck, I'm out of binding. There. More binding. Also, let me go ahead and cover up my cables here. Like, the system obviously work. I don't need a giant fucking trench in the ground. You know, as a homeowner, like, I don't want to complain about the shit that I did myself. Look at that, uh, uh, that premium installation of, well, I did all the damn work, but that premium installation that you paid extra for. Trenchcraft. Hey, when I mean, you want to hide the things, you know? I mean, look at this shit. Like, it's all because I had that cable right there. And if I didn't want to see this, I could have just, you know, continued that onwards and made it go up a different way, but whatever. Uh, there, there is a such thing called facades that allows you to hide the cable better. And there's pretty much for every damn type of block you can imagine. I'm just lazy as fuck. Because here's the thing about cable clutter. Here's the thing. I care, but I don't care too much about the cable clutter. Okay. Hold on, guys. When the person I was working on just ended their stream. So, no point um, having valuable resources going towards a lurk that doesn't matter for me. Also, why do I have slime ball in my inventory? I don't know. But now I think the system is stuck because it doesn't have a pool for iron. So I have to take the iron out. Tell it that if it ever receives iron again, it can take iron out. There you go. And now... Man, I am slowly filling up on my storage here. Oh shit, I am. Okay. Um, how much 1k storage do I have? Let's make... Is that all I can make? Oh god, that is not enough. That's not enough. Okay. Right, more 1k storage. There we go. I should not be filling an entire drive with that. I clutter a ton in my cables. I know where things are and how they run. God help anyone else who tries. <laughs> no. 
Listen, these make sense to me and me alone. Don't dare touch my cables. I'm gonna need another disk drive because I filled that up with uh, shitty drives. All right, so let's make another NAS, which I think I have all the parts. Ah, fuck, what am I missing? Of course I'm missing you. What do you require? Oh, a damn diamond. Of course you require a damn diamond, fucking hell. Most expensive shits. All right, what are you filled with that's not in my system? Lead. Oh, boy. There, and I should pull out all the lead. You're doing a great job and all, but here's the thing. What is this? Silver? Uh, I gotta put silver in there. To be fair, it's not so expensive, though. I mean, I guess you got a point. Alright, and let me take you out. Come here, you. Alright, that should be done. Go ahead, throw the pulverized silver in here. Yeah, but uh, uh, it's even like without the drive as well. You can put that in there, that in there, I don't care. Alright, do I have enough to make a damn disk drive? I do. Now, great thing about this mod is like, you'd think I would need a cable, right? Nope. So as long as they're next to each other, um, the controller should recognize two disk drives. There we go. So disk drive one, here's drive two. So because they're next to each other, they both count as valid drives. Hmm. Don't you just wish actual upgrades was like that? Like I can just put like these two things just touching and eventually they'll work. But nah. So now I have that up and running. So I do have to put this in here and my system already knows to take out gold, which is good. Now the thing is, um, oh, I want to set this to no, so that way it puts in different types of copper. A cinnabar? Okay, that's random as fuck and can clog the system. I was not expecting Cinnabar. Bit of an odd one. Uh, I'm gonna need more input buses. I definitely am because there's things like Eulorium, the Uranium, uh, Osmium. All right, but for now, too lazy to give a fuck. So I need more 1K storage. I need more silicon, which means I need quartz. Oh, shit. I am really running out of this shit here. I can make it from nether quartz dust or quartz powder or a service quartz dust. Okay, good. I can use the service quartz as well. Um, but I don't really want to use service quartz. Cause it's like these things are also hard to find. I need that fucking digital smelter. I mean, digital miner now, pronto. Oh shit! Nope, that was making burnt quartz. Whoops, that was making burnt quartz. Didn't want burnt quartz. Ah, look at that! Just a bar of uranium that I'm just completely near. I mean, I am wearing like, steel armor. So I'm reflecting some of that radiation, just not much of it. Okay, so my system doesn't know to take uranium, that's fine. It'll take uranium out. I also love if I can just hold uranium as well, you know? Here's a very unstable ingot, just hold it in your hand, you know, it's, you're gentle with it. You should be fine from radiation poisoning. You just have to be extremely gentle with it, you know? Alright, so now I also want this to take out silicon if it sees it. Not unstable, just sort of, sort of kind of deadly. Just sort of kind of. Not super deadly, but you know. 
very much so. Only two, and I'm out of silicon. Ah, fucking hell. Can I get one more? Because it probably was just a case of, like, the system didn't load them all in time. And now let me get a 4K storage bus. Ah, of course I need these things. One. Okay, whether I like it or not, I'm going to definitely need more buses, both for the export and the import. So I might have to just put a face hugger on here, whether I like it or not, as well as a face hugger on here, whether I like it or not. Because it's just not enough. There's just so many things I gotta craft. You know what? Now I think about it. I'm using refined storage, and I don't think refined storage uses the crystals the same way that A does. Like, hmm. I just want a 4K storage so I can hold more shit. Hmm. Like, fine, let me make another end porter. Oh, I'm out of silicon, so I can't even make another importer if I wanted to. Alright, back to the nether. You know what I'm gonna do? So not be stupid. I'm gonna put more luck on my pickaxe. And more luck on my, um... Can I? Yeah, let me put more luck on these things. Let me grab all my lappies. Um, unfortunately, I cannot make silicon out of sand. Because if you look in this recipe here, it has to be like quartz dust. If I can make it out of silicon, I would love to. But as you can see, it requires quartz dust to make it. Oh, I can just straight up just burn silicon. I don't need to smelt it down. Actually, I think smelting gives me two versus one. Okay. So you see it requires either nether quartz, quartz powder, um, service quartz, or crushed quartz. So it has to be quartz. I can't get it out of sand. Are you... The crusher. I can't. Of course the crusher can just crush sand in this. Of course it can. Of course it can. that. Do I have another servo? I don't have another servo. Let me just make it servo real quick. No, I don't need that. Okay. I need a wrench for that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is the crusher can cr uh, crush cobblestone into gravel. It can then crush the gravel into sand. So I'll just have the crusher basically create a loop where it's taking cobblestone and crushing it over and over until it finally gives me sand. I mean, silicon. Right, that makes sense, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let me make one of you, because I think I'm going to need you. Thank you. 
Probably not what you need the... Nope, I'm going to need both of them now that I think about it. Oh, dear ye. And I'm also going to need a wrench from Thermal Expansion. So let me see. That's... Industrial craft, don't give a fuck. That's applied energistic, don't give a fuck. That's calculator, that's chisel. That's extra utility, that's extreme, that's forestry. Um, where's the damn thermal expansion wrench? Am I fucking crazy? There used to be a wrench for thermal expansion. Yes, a lot of mods use wrench. If they have pipes, chances are, or any way of piping, chances are they also have a wrench somewhere. And not being able to find said wrench is really throwing a wrench in my plant. Oh, crescent wrench. I mean, crescent hammer. Because anything can be used as a hammer if you're desperate enough. I actually just realized this isn't going to work. Because what I want... Come here, you. Is this. I want to actually go into a chest first, so let me grab a chest. You, you practically have nothing in it. So, I want my fucking hammer. Like, just use a hammer to destroy a chest. So good. So, I'm gonna use this. Right, I'm just gonna use that as a buffer. So that way I need more item ducks, but that's fine, right? I'll use this as a buffer. So it's just gonna keep going in a cycle. Do you need redstone? No, you don't need a damn redstone. So cobblestone's gonna go in here, turn it into gravel. It's going to take the gravel out, put it back in here, and I'll turn it into sand. It's going to take the sand out, put it back in here. It's going to take the sand out, put it back in there, and I'll turn it into silicon. It takes the silicon out, put it in here, and it'll stop there. And that will give me silicon. And now, I just need cobblestone. And luckily, I have a way of getting lots and lots of cobblestone. Just don't mind me, you know, more destroying of the landscape here. I mean, I know I could just find, like, a beach and wreck a beach for this cobblestone here. But let's be honest here. Um, this is pretty much my own, like, quarry at this point here. You know. Like, this is definitely a quarry. Alright, there we go. That should be more than enough to get this process rolling here. How many was that? Because I really just want a stack of this. Because I don't see me keeping this loop forever. This is going to be the most temporary loop ever. So there we go. I throw that in there. It crushes it. Now I need like one gravel to pop out here. Well, actually I can leave that while I make more item ducks. Put that in there because I don't give a damn. Is this an item duck or a fluid? That's fluid ducks. So that's for fluids. I don't need fluids. I need basic bitch tier item ducks. Yep. Sex would be fine or should be fine. I know this looks ugly, but I kind of like it when machines look this way. It kind of feel makes it feel like it's more like, um, industrialized, and I'm not sure why, I just really like when things look industrial, you know? Like a good old fashioned factory. It's got like a certain aesthetic to it. So I want to go ahead, put this here. Now I want to wrench this off, so it tells it not to mess with that. Shit. You know, you can call me backwards for it, but I prefer this aesthetic. Actually, now I think about it, I could have had the cables most closer because I could just use the wrench to tell them not to mess with each other, but that's fine. 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and take one of these gravels here. I'm going to tell it, hey, you're going to whitelist this gravel. So now when it's done crushing all that cobblestone, it's going to start putting gravel in the system. Oh my gosh, this does have a speed upgrade on it. Nope, I didn't make a speed upgrade for the crusher. Let me make a speed upgrade for the crusher. Alright, so let me go ahead and put this away, put that away. At that, that. Um, let me go ahead and grab a steel. Oh boy, I'm running out of steel. Great. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fix you. Fix, yay. You're fixed. And not even enough to give it luck too. I need more lapis. So one thing about tinkers, you can control all your enchants. You don't just have to deal with like the random and chance that you can get from an enchantment table, Tinker's allows you to control it. And luck is basically just fortune, if you're wondering what luck is. Alright. So. Of course. Because I don't have any of this shit here. Alright, I'm going to need it. So let me go ahead and grab, like, redstone here let me go ahead and how much iron do I have I'm actually running out of iron the fuck all these mods and I'm running out of iron this in here this in here that's gonna be useful later for the digital smell I mean digital miner Power, breaking even. Great. Actually, not even breaking even. I'm making more power than I'm consuming. But how much do I have for lava? Okay, running slightly out for lava. So let me go ahead and get some more cobblestone. You know, this is not like... Like, I could go solar. I think I'm at the point where if I wanted to go solar, I can go solar. But I'm not. So my power generation definitely requires non-renewable resources unless I make like a lava gen- I mean a cobblestone generator. Then it'll be highly renewable resources in Minecraft, but not really re renewable resources in my, uh, reality. I can also just go nuclear and say fuck it. And make like a nuclear reactor where if I manage it wrong, it'll blow the fuck up. And spread nuclear waste throughout the land. So that's also a possibility. Like, you can make power in lots of different ways. It all depends on what your conscious is. And luckily I don't have the pollution mod in here, so you don't have to worry about burning coal for energy. And look at this, another type of copper. Come here, come here, smack! That slime's like, what the hell, man, smack? You can get smacked too, damn it. I don't care. Y'all can get smacked. Alright, so this should be more than enough copper. Hey, wait, wait, copper? I wasn't doing this for copper. Stone! This should be more than enough cobblestone to keep that lava generator going for a bit. My quarry is looking like a fucking mess. I don't care. So that can all go in there. I do believe gravel and diorite can be smelted down as well. Alright, so have we gotten to do all of this yet? Nope. And actually, let me check the pulverizer and make sure nothing's actually in the pulverizer. Okay, good. I mean, I can just put that in there and I'll take it out. Oh shit, I forgot to tell the exporter here to ignore MBT tags. So that way all the different um, copper doesn't fuck it up, because there's 15 different variety of copper. And how am I doing on storage? Alright, 
So one thing that this um, ME system does, it does, does, um, I'm stupid. So the ME system handles disk defragmentation. So it will spread out items among all the different disk drives. Which is why you can keep coming back to it and you'll see some drives turn red. Then you come back to it a little bit later and some of the drives turn yellow. So it is managing how items are distributed throughout the system here. Now then, what ores do I have left in my system here? Because all of them should be smelted. Okay, so why are these ores... I'm telling it to ignore MBT tag, but it's not taking like certain ores, because I still got copper in the system here. I still got lead. So what's going on? Why have you not taken those ores out? Um, use MBT tags. Unless items use damage. No, ignore redstone. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what caused it to go there, but it's accepting a lead. But I know there's like still like copper ores and stuff. Is it this? Don't care about damage. When you turn off use damage, it instantly turned on. Yeah, but damage is off, and that shouldn't matter. I'm using tools here. Because the thing is, I wanted to pull items regardless of their tags. So use MBT. Because otherwise, I have to put like every effing version of these metals in here. And look, this has MBT no, but it took that lead out, and that lead was from um, Industrial Craft. Maybe it needs a speed upgrade. Like I know it's not a channel thing because I'm not dealing with a. Oh. Oh wait, this is full empower. I thought this was not full empower for a second there. All right. Um, but here, what is causing these issues here? Because there's still copper in here. There's still lead in here. What the hell are you used for black quartz? You and the black quartz. So they're just used for crushed black quartz, quartz. Anything else I can do with them? Facades. I can smelt them and make black quartz. And that's about it. I can make oil with the black quartz? I'm not sure what the hell the black quartz are used for. I just have them. Uh, anyway. I'm going to ignore that for now. I don't know why you're not going here. Is this all gravel? And now I should be putting gravel in back in here. Because this one is set to take gravel out, put it back in here. Unless the crusher cannot accept gravel. And it cannot crush it into sand. Which I have not checked if the crusher can accept gravel or not. Because they put it back because there's no acceptable inventories for it. No, it can accept it. And it made it to sand. And you can 
take the sand out. You as well. And this is on ignore redstone. It's whiteless, so it's supposed to take gravel and sand out of this thing and put it back in the system. This is the front, this is the top. I put an input on the top. So it should be taking the gravel and putting it in the thing. Because right now the gravels are in the pipe. There we go. Okay, forgetting that. That's awesome. You, I don't know why you're not working. Okay. Keep it as items. Like, I doubt it's the pipe being broken. I'm not sure if there's too much traffic on the pipes or what, but anyway, uh, where is Osmium? Get two of these here. Need you to crush that Osmium into us. Oh wow. I interrupted mid crush, so I just quickly applied that bit crush to my Osmium. <laughs> okay, that might be some hacks there. That might be a little bit of hacks, but that's still nice. And what do I need the Osmium dust for? Oh right, yep. Yeah. So if I check here. It should be done. So this is just so I can make a speed upgrade on that, so I can get the silicon a bit faster. Because that silicon just taking a little bit too long there. There we go. Now this might... I don't know. So far, everything I thought that was going to hurt the power grid has not really hurt it that much. Alright. Yeah. My power grid is doing just fine. Even when I charge my jetpacks. Although this could be that this is not running for whatever reason. I don't know why. But it's keeping up to the demand. So that's going to crush it a bit faster. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. So that's bright red because it, there's a mixture of items in there and that means the pike is clogged and doesn't know what to do with the items. So it should be taking out the sand or it's waiting actually because I remember I put like one sand in this chest and it took it out. So that sand is probably going back and forth with nowhere to go and that's why it's not taking anything out. As for this. Um, not my concern. But for now, can I make that 4K drive? Sand will clear once the gravel finishes. I know. But that's basically what fucked up the system. But hey, it's like, hey, at some point, you know. Alright, these things. I need to make more of these things first. Yeah, I'm gonna need another importer. Whether I want it or not, I'm getting another importer, another exporter. Silicon! I'm gonna consume this calamari here. Are you done yet? Have you crushed all the gravel yet? Filling up. Just crush this, alright? Now I put the silicon here, so it knows to take the silicon out, and I'll put the silicon in this chest for me. Why did I... Okay. There we go. It really gets stuck in the pipe system. 
There we go. Okay. So now then, I should be able to make my importer that I need. Which requires one of these. Which I think I should just make two of these. And I'm gonna need lots of these. And out of silicon, great. those in there for now unfortunately my base is nowhere near good enough for me to like tank a knight especially with abyssal mobs it will wreck my face once I get like better armor I'm not willing still armor which still armor is good and all but there are better armors out there that far defeat uh, protection quality of diamonds Like, way beyond Farce to see the protection quality of diamonds. There are armors out there that allows you to survive in the void. Alright. So now, let me go ahead, put these in, put these in. Clear that out. Can I make another importer? So even if I have a good way of making silicon on the cheap here, that still doesn't change the fact that I'm still going to need the quartz just for certain recipes. So that means whether I like it or not, I still have to go back into the nether. Which is just great. I love the nether. True, but it does reduce it. Oh, yeah, you're right. I got that at least. It does reduce the cost. And do I have any random blocks? No, because I wasn't smart enough to bring blocks with me. Why did I bring blocks with me? Yep. Come on. The problem is this nether is so dangerous. Like, for instance, these ghost trees here, they explode when you mine the wood. Oh, gosh, shut the fuck up. I'm not in the mood for you right now. Also, there's things like nether world, you know? Like, I'm not gonna be mining the nether out. Why does that gas sound like it's just farting? Any more quartz? Yes, quartz. I mean, this is beyond dangerous. Mining straight up in the nether? You can just have lava drop down on you from anywhere? Let me get like a whole stack of this shit so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I mean, I'll have to worry about it when the next time I need it, but... Ah, oh, fuck, another right. Go to hell, you fucking piece of shit. Okay. Out, you fucking bitch! Come at me, you whore! Fuck you. Get wrecked. Alright, I have to deal with another might. Um, this is cobalt. Oh, no, that's lap. Oh, I need lapis, actually. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put some nora in it. Oh, God. The fuck? Oh, um, some fucking, like... Right, you have to grind this shit down first. It's like, I do believe you have to smelt it. Which is why I'm not getting, like, raw netherite. I'm getting, like, blocks of this shit. I think it was a gas having an orgasm for the first time. It didn't know how to handle it. Oh, 
Oh God! Oh right. Now the word can randomly explode. Yeah, I forgot about that. This stuff randomly explodes when you mine it. Fucking hell. I don't need that shit in my life. You know what? There's a trick with mining with the hammer. If you have a stone that's durable, you mine the stone next to it, and it mines the whatever ore you're mining. Like that. So it's like an easier way of mining this shit. Alright. I think I have more than enough there, or I should be good. Really must be lost secret ingredients to Willy Wonka. <laughs> ah, yes, this a uh, wee bit of like Nether Wars. That's all. Just a wee bit, lad. Oh fuck! Yeah, there's spinning blades of doom here. All right, let me fuck your face. Now, do you take poison damage? Because if you take poison damage, I would like that. Oh fuck! There's a speedy. You are from. Oh fuck! That just went to the portal. No, don't you dare go to the portal. You're not allowed. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with a speedy ass wither on the other side of this portal here. Alright, let me go. Let me go as fast as possible. Let me go as fast as possible. Fucking hell, fucking hell, fucking hell. Come on, load array, load array. You there? You there? Okay, there we go. Alright, there's my wither. And is he about to fuck right off? Oh shit, nope, he's still there. Oh fuck you, man. Hardened wither skeleton who's. I can't. I mean, this is an interesting battle here. Oh God! You fucking piece of shit! Fuck you! I don't have a bow for your ass, and you don't take poison damage because you're undead. I really should have made this sword out of silver. That would have made it do extra damage to you, fucks. Or netherrack, which makes oh no, netherrack makes it do its extra damage to anything not from nether. Okay, can you kindly die, you fucker? There you go, I got two hits in. You know what, I'm just gonna have to take your shit, because you're weak. Eat a dick! Alright. Now I forget, Soul Stand can be used as a modifier, but I forget what it does. Alright, so that can go in there. Actually, all this stuff can go in here. Filling up my drive? Yes, I am! Like a piece of shit! You... I think I just need to smelt you and you'll calm the fuck down. Oh no, I think if I pulverize you, you yield more. And... Yep. So I'll pulverize that. How am I doing on silicon here? A little bit more. That can go in there. Alright. Now what was I doing? Alright, a 4K drive. Can I make a 4K drive yet? No, I need one really basic dish processor. Oh, right, also an exp uh, another importer. I'm being distracted, okay? Let me make you another importer, because I'm going to need it. One of you, another exporter, because I'm going to need it. You know, just make a shit ton of... Of course, I'm out of binding. Why wouldn't I be out of binding? How many of you can I make? That's it, and I'm out of... Alright. Pulverizer usually doesn't also mean random. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, the Pulverizer is safe, okay? The random explosions are triggered by player actions, not by... Um... Not by machines. So if I have a machine do something for me, it'll be safer than me doing it. Alright, so I'm gonna need another importer to go here. Another exporter to go there. Right? Nope, other way around. Oh my gosh, this pick does so much damage. Look. I mean, you have the power of the instant mine. So I need another exporter there and another... Importer there, exporter there. Okay. So I should be good. Let me just fill these up so I can no longer put stuff in them. So this is all good. It's filled with shit. This needs one more material that I don't have, so... Um, let me check the ores chest to see what particular ore I haven't put in here yet. Oh, I know. There's a shit ton of stuff. As of right now, let me go ahead and take these out. And 4K drive acquired. Yes. Well, 4K uh, storage part acquired. And I now have a 4K drive. Boom! The first 4K drive online. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Clear that all. How am I doing on time? Oh, shit. Ouch. Snap the back and crack the spine. Alright, so let me go ahead and charge this up. What are you crushing? Oh, you're making me... Silicon. Alright, so that's good. So, I'm charge. You... Oh, I'm actually hitting the power grid right now. And not anymore. Something was hitting it and then stopping it. Alright, so... Let me see here. I need to figure out why it's not pulling all the coppers. Because if I can't figure out why it's not pulling all the copper, I'm screwed. Like, is it use NBT? Use damage? Uh, Because if I check this system right now, and I check ores, there's still copper in here. There's still lead in here. Alright, uh, let me just go ahead and... Work a drive, nice. So I think what I'm going to do, because it is time to wind down the stream here, is I'm going to go ahead, figure out why the thingamajig is not working how I want it to work in the downtime, set my importers and exporters for all of the ores, so that way don't have to worry about them. You know, any ore I put in the system, because look, this is a 10 ore right here, yet my system probably wouldn't take it as it is, so I need to figure that out. And then, like, next um, stream, I can start making progress towards, um, progress towards the digital miner. Because I would lo lo love to get that digital miner up and running as well. So next stream, I could probably make progress towards my digital miner, get that up and running so I don't have to mine for shit anymore, okay? Could this be a case of, like, you know, 
I have machines to take care of that for me. You know, the game might be called, like, Minecraft. But I don't see a reason why I, in particular, have to actually do the mining and crafting if I can get machines to do that for me. You know what I mean? And not to mention, it's kind of barbaric when you think about it to, like, go into these cave system here and, like, actually dig up ores and whatnot. So, you know, I have to work on getting, like, the game to do all that for me. So I can just sit back and gain unlimited power. And, like, you know, basically get to a point where I'm powerful enough to, like, sneeze in real life and accidentally click on my mouse and destroy, like, an entire mountain. Because we all want that type of power at one point or another in our lives. And I'm like, you know, let's go. Let me have that power. But as of right now, let's go ahead and turn down this <laughs> DVC fantasy. <laughs> yes. Yes. But as of right now, let's go ahead and wind down this stream. So if you like this type of content and would like to catch up on anything that you missed, you can always just tune into my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash crispy the best because you know I am. Or you can tune, um, if you're watching this live, you can use exclamation mark YouTube to get that link. If you like to catch these lives, you can tune into my Twitch channel at twitch.tv um, forward slash cliff underscore B underscore gaming. Monday to Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 1900 to 2100 hours if you live in an area with a 12 hour time format. But as of right now, if you're watching the VODs, this is where I say bye, internet. <laughs>